about to head off to improv, but first, to say goodbye to everybody. Bye, kitty. Bye, puppy. Bye, wifey. I see you in a little bit. Hey, bye. Love you. I'm giving vlogging a shot. See how it works out right now. I am leaving home to head to improv rehearsals. A lot of people probably ask if it's improv, why are you rehearsing it? Honestly, it's just about understanding the rules and uh, actually learning about improv. It's a very long history of improv. It's pretty cool. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, and I haven't messed it up yet, so I guess it's gonna be around a little bit longer. And got a little bit of a drive to get there. I watched it up to right after the ending of Alpha. But Yo! So now I was going to introduce you all to Gonzo Improv, but we had a meeting and then I totally forgot and I haven't picked the camera back up in like almost a week. This is my kitty. So now I'm going to attempt to do this again, but this time we're going to the gym. I don't know how much I can record at the gym because it is Planet Fitness and Apparently people that go there are afraid of cameras and sexy. I don't know how they allow me in there. I don't know. This is my pug. This is Charizard. I chose him. Stay back, kitty. All right, I always see YouTubers do this, so I'm gonna try to do like where I clap and then I'm in new clothes. Ready? Ready? change spray. Just put a little on each hand. Rub it together. And... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay, that toe clap harder than it looks. Practice makes perfect. Let's get some pre-workout. Alright. Gonna get pre-workout. Wife doesn't want to be on camera. So I'm gonna show me making the pre-workout, and then I'm gonna show me drinking the pre-workout. Because apparently, I'm conceited so much that my wife doesn't wanna be on the camera. So you got this here, you open it up. Look at that, get that, mmm, that beautiful bean footage. It's pretty, it's a, uh, so it's pretty much, pretty much Adderall in like a powder form. So my wife, she'll take two of these small scoops. So in now. Thus. And I'll take one of the big scoops. try to drink Kool-Aid, like, just straight up the powder. Yeah, this is that times a million, um, except it doesn't, it doesn't taste good. My Kool-Aid people out there. All right, bottoms up. Got the chunks, got the chunks! Okay. Yeah. We're at the gym. <laughs> 
And I'm trying to convince Caitlin, my wife, to be on camera. And she's all, well, every time you put the camera on me, I feel like I gotta like do something. I'm like, you don't have to do anything, just be yourself. And she responds with, I don't know how to be myself. <laughs> she's being so awkward right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't judge me. God, are gonna judge me. <laughs> so we're here. I'm already like 99% sure they're not gonna be cool with me like filming and stuff. So I'm just gonna do a gym montage. Next time you see us, we'll probably be going to get lunch or something. Maybe. Did you choose where we're going yet? Nope. No, no idea. No clue? Play it by ear. Play it by ear, which means I'll probably end up choosing. Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to my truck. So uh, vlogging yesterday stopped kind of prematurely. Wife and I went and got lunch, then we came home and ended up watching Stranger Things uh, until the wee hours of the morning. Ooh, roads are slick, 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 slick roads. And this morning when I got up, I had a really weird profound thought. What would you do if you woke up one day and this entire life you've lived up to a certain point hasn't been real. Let's say you're 28 right now. I'm just giving myself as an example. You've been married X number of years. You bought your own house. You've lost several family members. You've lost several friends. And all of a sudden you wake up and you're 16. You have full recollection and memory of everything that has happened in your life, would you immediately try to find the people that you got to know later on in your life? Or would you try and do a restart? Maybe, maybe avoid situations you know are coming. Avoid people that you know are gonna to be toxic in your life. Me personally, the ones that matter now, I still wanna find. I would still want to find some way to make them a part of my life. I would have got started on entertainment a lot sooner. I wouldn't have waited so long. I was 23 when I found wrestling, finally, and got became a professional wrestler. I was 23 when I did that. I sh should have started when I was 18. I didn't even discover improv comedy until I was about 27, so that's only been about a year. I would have discovered this thing so much earlier. Maybe life would have been a little bit different. I would still make sure I found the woman that is now my wife. I would definitely go back and the people that I knew I was gonna lose, hug them a little bit tighter, love them a little bit longer. We'll try to save some. I would still try to defy the laws of nature, defy the laws of the universe and say, hey, Barlow, one of my best friends that passed away when he was 21 years old from a car accident, I would call him and tell him not to go driving on that day. I would tell him, just wait a couple hours to go see your girlfriend and your daughter. Just wait a couple hours. It'll be worth it. You can wait a couple hours. I wouldn't tell him why, but I would just do everything I could to make him wait a couple hours. Never too late to start on a dream or a path. Regardless of how outrageous it may seem, it's never too late to start it. I'm just now starting this. I'm just now doing YouTube. YouTube's been big for a while now. I missed the train on mine. I get it. I didn't understand the platform. I didn't understand what it could do for somebody. And now that I'm starting to understand the platforms, understand that even though I might not find myself interesting, there might be millions of people out there that find interest in me. And I want to share my not so interesting life with a lot of you so that one day, maybe it'll become interesting. But that's all I gotta say for right now. I'm gonna head to improv class. Uh, to be honest, I was really hesitant on going today. I've been in a weird mood. I'm sure plenty of you have had those days where you wake up and 
you don't know why you're down. You don't know why you're sad. You just aren't. You don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to do anything. That's just the universe trying to hold you back for a moment. It's testing you. Seeing if you're going to pull through and go do it anyway. But that's what I'm doing. I'm saying, universe, I get it. I understand you're trying to test me right now. Um, but I am going to go to rehearsal. And I'm going to learn a little more about myself. And learn more about how to entertain people. My challenge for everyone today, in the comment section below, what is your dream? What's the one thing you want to succeed in in life that maybe up to this point you feel like you've lost out on the opportunity? I want everyone to take that dream and go out and chase it. Because that's what I'm doing right now. This dream of entertaining and being somebody in this world I thought about not even chasing it because I was already almost 30 years old, 28. I thought, hey, maybe, maybe it's not a good idea to chase it. You know, you're already getting too old. A lot of people might not like it. We're not too old. I'm not too old. It's just, I feel like there's an expiration date on everything. I've decided, F it. I'm going to chase it. I'm going to chase it until I can't chase it anymore. And wherever it ends up, it ends up. If it fails, it fails. If it succeeds, it succeeds. All you have to have is your why. Your why will keep pushing you. Why do I want to do this? Because I lost faith in me. And I'm starting to find faith in myself again. And what I can do and what I'm capable of. And I encourage everyone to look for your why, find your reason, and just go do it. That's it for the vlog. Uh, this is my first time doing it. So it is what it is. First time editing one as well. There was a part of the video that's pretty shaky. Apologize for that. The roads here suck right now. It just snowed. It's been plowed, so the roads are just in worse condition than normal. So leave a comment below, like and subscribe, hit the little bell button to get all my notifications. And also I will be leaving links to all my social media platforms at the bottom as well as, well as my improv troops uh, information. So you can kind of keep up with us as well. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, good night. See you later. Zilla out.